What's good, YouTube? So I'm here with a prophetic message about haggling. Now, in Nigeria, it's normal for us to haggle uh, for prices. You don't usually accept the first offer that comes to you. Usually, we do the same, right? When there's a, a housing offer, you don't take the first offer that comes to you. When you look for a job, you don't usually accept the first offer that comes to you. So. Why would you accept the first offer that comes to you if you were in the market? Buying soap or fruits, just maybe like some pears. Why would you accept the first price that comes to you in uh, Uber? It doesn't make any sense or for a taxi. It makes sense to haggle and say, look, I'm not paying that. So I don't know what came upon me this moment, but the spirit of finance just be hitting me sometimes. And I'm like, okay, I got to go with it. As somebody who travels often, this is something I love to do. And it always helped me like, oh, okay, I could get it a good price. I could get it a good price. How did it come about? I honestly did not have the funds. At first, I didn't have the funds. Uh, when I traveled to Mexico the first time, I didn't have that much money. I had only like, it was like, I had all of about uh, $200 the first trip. Now, uh, my book is actually about that. And I just don't want to accept the first offer that comes to me. I remember I was so caught up in haggling for prices. I went to meet someone who I'd gone to college with. He bought me a ticket to Seattle. And I had just had 10 months of just extreme travel. I mean, I've never traveled this way. I was exhausted. I just wanted to rest. I'm always like on edge. I was at the time. And we got into the cab. He's like, why have you not, why aren't you just gonna pay the price they give you? Just like, this guy to me was kind of like, eh, we really don't associate anymore since that trip. Sometimes we ask uh, to see people's true colors and he was a destiny pusher. So I definitely went from one destiny location he was a destiny altering person so i thank him for that but i've noticed that a lot like some people have this pride of just like um in vietnam that was the thing one guy said i got the house because i didn't ask him to lower it i was happy to pay the 400 dollars a month and i was like mm, i'm happy for you um i don't really know what else to say i don't know what to say but in this space, like, it's so important for us not to accept the first thing. Now, uh, this, this came big for me in um, Think Like a Billionaire. There's some things I just cannot haggle on. If I'm paying for my business registration, the Secretary of State and the bureaucratic stuff that we have to go through, that's going to, we can't, we can't change that. Taxes, we can't really be haggling on taxes, right? <laughs> there are some things we just cannot haggle on. But in this upcoming season, things that are about to come up, because times for a lot of people are going to be hard, or people are going to start selling their homes, you don't just want to say, okay, I'll take it. You want to lower it. I, I was reading Think Like a Billionaire when, the, when uh, Certificate of Vaccination ID 2019 first happened. And I was sitting in Rosarito and I was, I love audiobooks, so I'm listening to controversial books so I can just, who are controversial people during this time, so I can understand them. Because uh, what are they saying that is such a controversy? It's going against the grain. So I started listening to Think Like a Billionaire by uh, Donald Trump and I said, oh my gosh, he's right about the haggling and this is what a lot of people do. Now, there will come a point where you have so much money, but generally speaking, even Donald Trump was like, look, when I go to restaurants, I expect them to just cover the bill. I don't even have my wallet to take care of it. They're just so happy that I'm here. So I want to declare that over everybody in, under the sound of my voice, that you're going to go places, and not only are you a light to everyone, it's just they're just so happy to have you there, they will cover you. I'm not just saying, oh, I wish that happened. I'm not bragging either because this happens often for me. I will go to places and um, there, there will be a favor. And I want that for everybody else. I want it to be that everybody else is getting the same favor as well. People will just see you and they just want to help you. They want to give to you. They want to do things for you. And I feel like traveling has taught me a lot about that. And I also decree and declare that you will learn how to haggle. 
but you won't give away everything you have. And not because you were in a scarce mind city, but you have so much abundance to get. You can't, you don't really want to spend a whole bunch on this. It doesn't make sense. When things start going on sale or even when things get bad, it's not going to be you. You're going to be covered with the wealth anointing. So, excuse me. It's so important for me to remind all of us to go ahead and get back into the place of, of, of wanting to really help yourself. When you get us to a job offer and they say, how much do you want? Don't think, oh, I don't want to be too much. You're like, look, I deserve, well, if you have good self-esteem um, and you know your value, you're going to say, look, I, I want a few bucks. I want a few bucks. I want a few thousand more than what everybody else is getting. I know this is what the market is. Uh, the competitive rate is this, but I'm worth this. And not that you would ever put money on what you do, but you are full of so much potential. So you will not be shorted in this place, but you will learn to bargain. I had um, a, a, a YouTube time where, I'm sorry, a Zoom conference that I have every Monday, the last Monday of every month, to help us trim the fat in our finances. So baddies trimming the fat in relationships, we're bad. You know, we just, just people just look at you, they say, dang, she bad. This situation of wanting to move forward and, and being prepared for the upcoming storm, just because you're, you know, able to barter doesn't make it worse. You know, you're going to find, we're all going to find very soon, the ability to barter and bargain and haggle is going to be a skill. People are going to either, you got it and you're going to learn it, or you don't care for it. And when you start doing it, you're going to feel uncomfortable doing it. It's okay to bargain and to haggle. And I just decree that over everybody's life that you will know how to look for good deals. You will know that you will find a Tiffany's bracelet in a 99 cent store, okay? Like, people are not gonna know what they're selling. And you're gonna go up in there and say, this is 99 cents, you know? I literally only have 50 cents in my purse, but I'm happy to give it to you. I'm happy to, you know, can we lower the price? And if not, go and come back. Make sure you ask them to hold it at the store. Something like that. You want to make sure that you are being really prepared for what is to come because the ability to bargain is going to take you heaps beyond where you thought. Your money is going to last longer and you're going to understand not just the value of the dollar but the value of a penny. I love you and I hope this message has blessed you. Uh, much love to y'all. Unapologetic gang. See you later. Bye.